Hey, what is up guys? Today we're actually going to take care of another little piece of UI. So as you can see down here, we have the build resources and also the hit point. So these two are going to be um, fairly useful. As you can see now, I've just found two turrets and my build resources went down by a hundred. So every turret costs 50 right now. And check this out. When I try to spawn one more, we get the general message that says not enough build resources and we're not allowed to spawn anymore so this is going to give us a, uh, an extra difficulty lever and it, that's pretty much just making the game more fun in general because now you have to try to win, you have to actually use your toe tax. Alright guys, so that's what we're going to be doing in this episode and uh, let's actually not lose any more time and get started. Alright, so this time once more we are going to make a little piece of UI. I think that's going to be the, not the last one uh, in general, but it's going to be the last one in this uh, streak of UI we've been doing. So, um, it's actually going to be quite useful. We're, we're going to lock the amount of turret we can have. Right now we can actually spawn as much as we want and uh, that kind of mess up the balancing of our game. So we can't really uh, know if our, our game is fun or if our game is hard or too easy. So we're actually going to take care of that in this episode. Alright, so um, without further ado, let's actually get started. I am going to right click on my UI route once more to create a panel. Okay, once that is completed, I will go ahead and dock it on the bottom left of my UI or my canvas. So same as always, you click once here and then you hold shift, click again. And let's make this one maybe 250, no that's too small, uh, 300 by 800. It's going to be a small piece of information that we're going to put down here, but it's going to be really, really useful. So this panel, we're going to call it resources information. Inside of this panel, first off, we're going to have a vertical layout, well, vertical layout group. So I'll just leave it like that. I'll create two new text object inside of that. And we're just going to move it. Okay, there it is. So that's the first text object. This one is going to be build resources. And then we might be at say um, 100. Of course, that's some default text like we always do. Uh, crank up the size to maybe 18. Center it. And let's rename the text object for build resources. Now I'm going to duplicate this one. And we're going to have a second text, which is going to be hit point. So this one is going to be quite useful, as you can tell. It's going to tell you how much uh, enemies you're allowed to, uh, actually not how you're allowed to let Peru, but how many enemies are left until you actually fail. So it's going to be something of the sort. We're going to start with 10 HP and then uh, on the other side of that forward slash is going to be the max amount of HP. So uh, we might actually create a mechanic where you gain 1 HP, who knows? But all of that is going to be available to us in the future now, and we're going to be able to see it right here. Okay, so now we got the little UI part, it was really easy to do actually, and it's not good looking, but as always, and I, I'm going to repeat this for a while, this is not the final art, and we're going to tackle the art later on when we actually feel like an artist. Okay, that being said, we are going to go inside of our UI manager once more. So I'm going to choose my UI manager, double click on the script, and we're going to create a new section for the resource information. So once more, go down here, type in region. I'm going to call this one resource information and the region. And I am going to declare a public game object resource info. Below that, private text array, resource info text. So if we pull this up here, as you can see, it's pretty, pretty similar. Um, and we're going to have the same exact function as this draw wave function. So public void draw build resources. And we're going to take in the amount in here. So um, we're going to take in the amount of resources we have currently and we're simply going to shoot it inside of the string. Now, um, the build resource is not the only thing we want to draw. We also want to draw 
a uh, hit point. So draw hit point is going to be the second function we're going to take in uh, in here. And this one is going to take in parameter a int hit point and also a int max hit point. The reason these two are split and we're not drawing them on the same function call is because they're going to be changing on different rates. So every time we lose one HP, we don't necessarily want to be uh, changing the build resources. Well, I mean, we're not going to be really changing it. It's going to stay the same value, but uh, in the back end, so on the code, it's actually going to replace the string and put it on the exact same thing again. So we don't want to have that extra operation and we don't get the information from the same sources. So the information here, so the, the build resources, they should actually come from the build mode script. And as for the draw hit point, they're coming from the level manager. So since they're coming from two different sources, I'm going to put them in two different function. But they're going to be using the same panel because they just, uh, they just go well together, I think. Okay. So uh, for the draw build resources, I think that's the first one. Yeah, that's the first one. So we'll do resources info text at the index zero dot text is equal to build resources and then just format your string uh, however you'd like. So I'll just do mine like this plus a mount to string. And this is it for the draw build resources. Now as for the hit point, I will do resource info text at the index number one dot text is equal to hit point and we close this off, then we do hit point to string to string, then I'm going to add a forward slash and then add the max hit point dot to string. Okay, now we have these two functions, but they are not being called from outside, so let's actually do that. Quit. <coughs> Quit. All right, so now we're changing the resource information text, but these are not set just yet. So we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go do just that up here in the initialize, right below these two calls. We're gonna do the exact same thing. So um, resources info text is equal to resources info dot get components in childrens. Don't forget the uh, the s over here in get components, and that's going to be pretty much it for this script. Now we got these two function and they should work properly, but in order to test them, we need to be able to call them somewhere. So uh, we are going to call one of these in level manager for sure. So if we go in the initialize and update, we have over here the draw wave info that we've put before. So right below that, let's actually call UI manager dot instance dot draw and we're gonna draw the hit point. And then let's go ahead and send them um, life point actually, mm, that's, that doesn't sound correct. Okay, we are going to rename life point for hit point. And right below that, we're also going to declare a max hit point, which we will set to the exact same value. Okay, now that being said, we can go down here, say hit point, and then max hit point. Now we probably broke uh, we probably broke our script somewhere, so let's go ahead and just go back in the game. It's going to tell us exactly where we broke it. And in the enemy crossed um, function, we actually have to change this for hit point since we just renamed our function. Now, while we are at it, since we are in the enemy cross function, um, this is pretty much where we remove a HP off the level. So this is also where we should uh, recall our draw. So let's do UI manager dot instance dot draw hit point and then hit point max hit point. And then we can have this covered um, whenever we, we lose one HP it's going to update the text at the bottom left of the screen. Okay, so I think that's going to be pretty much it for the hit point. Now as for the build mode, let's actually go up here and this is where uh, the balancing begins. So uh, we are going to create, say up here, private int resources. And let's go ahead and set that to something like 200 for now. And a little bit later on, we'll give a value depending on which level we're loading. But for now, let's go ahead and put that on 200. 
Now, we are going to go into start where it says on selection change, we're going to go below that and actually call an update to our text. So UI manager instance draw build resources and we shoot the resources value we just created. So right now we should have 200 resources. We draw it on the screen and whenever we uh, create a tower, let's go ahead and remove some resources off this value. All right, so let's look for oh, spawn tower. Here it is actually. And we've even put a comment over here, so that's where we're going to do it. Um, right here, we're going to get a cost for our turret, which we don't have just yet, but let's go ahead and declare one just for now. So it's going to be a generic cost for every single turret. And let's put that on 50. So if resources is bigger or equal than cost, then in this case, we have enough money and we are ready to spawn the tower. So let's take this whole thing, put it inside of our new uh, if statement. Now we also need to make sure we remove some money of the player, not some money, but some resources of the player. So we'll do resources minus equal cost. And then let's make sure we actually call our draw function. So UI manager dot instance dot draw build resources and we are simply going to shoot the resources field. Okay, so let's read this real quick. If, um, if we're spawning a tower, then if we have no focus tower, just return null. If it is occupied, just go ahead and send this message to the general message. And then after that, we make sure do you have enough money. If you do have enough money, we're going to spawn the turret and also update our resources. Let's add a else statement to that. So if we don't have enough money, so if we don't have enough money, we are going to say uimanager.instance.show general message, and we're going to show the general message um, not enough build resources. Triple dot. Let's make this red because it's a bad sign, and maybe a two second duration. Okay, so we pretty much just coded the whole thing without testing. Let's hope nothing breaks and we are going to press, oh, never mind. this time I won't forget. So uh, make sure you set the resource info to the new field we made in the UI manager. So go ahead and drag and drop this resource information object right here. I'm going to save this and cross my finger. Everything works and it actually looks fine right now. So build resources is at 200. Now, so I was to spawn a uh, arrow tower. Why not? Oh, never mind. I spawned a shock tower, but as you can see, it still works. So now we're down 150. And uh, let's actually let's actually spawn an arrow tower over here and a arrow tower over here as well. Actually, let's just make it a mirror. So like this. Now, if we try to spawn one more. It says not enough build resources, and I'm pretty sure I made an English typo in that, so I'll have to Google that because I'm really not good in English. Right, so um, the build resources work, and we can confirm that right now. Now, if we press K to actually send the wave, oh, and am I going to fail this? We'll see in a moment, but if one of these enemy crosses the line, then we should see our HP going down, and I'm actually winning. Okay, this one, this one's going to go through for sure. All right, let's take a look at this. And nine. Okay, so this works. Great. Let's actually try and just fail. Eight, six, five, four, three, two, defeat. Great. And now victory because we uh, we don't we don't block the victory after defeat. So uh, the the wave actually ends and we end up winning. So that's going to be a little bug fix. We are going to take care of really, really soon, but not in this episode. Because guys, that's going to be pretty much it actually for this episode. I hope you enjoy. If you learned something or if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like. I really appreciate that. And also, if you have any question or comment, make sure you go ahead and uh, drop them in the comment section below. Also, subscribe for more tutorials like these. And I must say that I'm getting quite um, not impressed, but I'm getting quite uh, happy about the result of this game. I'm actually starting to see the the fun in it uh, as the difficulty factor goes up. 
So hiding these uh, limits on the turret just really did something great to our game, I think. Anyway, guys, that's that's pretty much it. So thanks again for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next episode.